us a view of the OpenIO dashboard. For our demo, we have an OpenIO cluster made up of three machines. The current Docker images consume 13% of available storage. Each machine hosts several services. These are represented by different colored hexagons. The different colors represent the three service layers. Data is stored in the storage layer in blue. The metadata layer is in purple and the S3 gateways are orange. A load balancer is in front of the gateways. The gray nodes represent miscellaneous services. These include the movers, the conscious grid, the caching system, etc. Now let's imagine that I'm the storage manager for my company. The development team wants to build a bunch of Docker images that will weigh a lot by next week. This requires more capacity than we currently have. Developers are making Docker images on their Docker machine and their CI system. Once built and tested, they need to store these images in a Docker registry. I have a spare node with available storage and I'm going to add it now on the fly. With the help of our infrastructure as code system, we provision the spare server into the cluster. Our data remains available during the technical operation and the registry front end continues to work. In this example, we send a local Docker image named Ubuntu to the remote Docker registry. This action continues filling our OpenIO storage. As you can see, the new node has been successfully added.